What's going on everybody? My name is Jordan Westfall and welcome to another day of being in the studio. Today I'm going to go ahead and go over how I edit my toms, keep them punchy, keep them clean, without sacrificing any of the bleed. Let's go. Alright, so welcome back guys. I'm over here in Pro Tools, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, so here I've got my three tom tracks. I'll, so I'll put them in a group, I'll solo them. Shift Command G to disable all the groups. So I've got these soloed. I'm just going to listen to them real quick. Listen to the toms. If you hear a hit, go ahead and cut it out. No hits. All right, so I've gone ahead and saved the hit. I'm gonna zoom in. Go ahead and just kind of finesse this. We're gonna fade this in. And we're gonna go to the end of the clip. And we'll fade that out. And what I'm gonna do, this is the trick. This is how you save the bleed. What I'm going to do is go to this little tiny fader, it's the clip gain in Pro Tools. So I'm going to go ahead and gain this down to 16, minus 16 dB, which means the bleed is always going to be 16 dB lower than the, the initial transient hit. What it's going to allow me to do is keep the bleed if I want it. It's going to go ahead and make the gates react way more efficiently if I want that. And then it's also going to make MIDI triggering way more accurate because you're not going to have all this extra cleanup to do if you're going to trigger this in post. And I'll go ahead and show you that when we're done. So we're gonna go ahead and go through all these tom tracks. It's usually really, you can get a handle on this really quickly, guys. Uh, once you, you know, if you're, especially if you're the guy that recorded the drums, um, you can definitely do this pretty quickly. You, you, you immediately have a, uh, like a feel for that drummer's style and like where he's gonna place a fill and you can just kind of start speeding through it all and just know where it's gonna happen. Last hits, all right, trick on final hits, don't change the volume after the tom. Otherwise you're gonna have some weird, unnatural sounding thing happen. All right, I'll go through here, we'll change all this to 16. And uh, that's it, that's, we've cleaned them. Now we do batch crossfades. Command F, now here's the trick. You wanna have this set up a very certain way, otherwise you're gonna jack everything up. Fade out options. Create new fades, no. Adjust fades, no, that's blank. Fade in, you do wanna create a fade in. We haven't made any fade in, so we have, we've made a couple, so this is fine to adjust. Um, one millisecond length, pre-slice cross fades, one millisecond length. Boom, we're set, we're done. Shift option three to consolidate it all, and that's it. We're done, we've now cleaned We've cleaned our toms. And that's that's uh, that's where I leave it. We've cleaned our toms. That's where I leave it. So when we listen back. Now that makes re-triggering MIDI, all that stuff way easier, which let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Super easy. Audio suite, instrument, Massey DRT. This is only a hundred bucks if you guys want it. Uh, there's also a free version. I only need the free version, so I don't need I don't need all the extra features. So that's that's why I use it. So highlight the track that you want to analyze. In our case, it's going to be Tom Three. Hit Analyze. Has all these settings here. Now you can see all the spots here that we've gotten rid of all the bleed. Just start kind of start to go away whenever you bring this up, and that's it. MIDI drag and drop. We'll pull this out. Put it to the playhead and check that out. We now have sample accurate and velocity accurate MIDI information. Now you'll always have to go in um, and see we've got all this craziness happening here. Just always got to go in and clean up the crazy. So it doesn't matter what software you use, you, you'll have to do it. Um, take the steps. You're a badass, right? Just take the steps. Boom. Oh, see, we got two extra ones in there we don't need. Tab to the next one. Uh, just looks like one hit. Don't need these. 
Yep, just one hit. Uh, some craziness here. Okay, so we actually deleted some. Copy this. It's this really easy. Drop down, paste, drop down, paste. Now we've got them back. I'm going to go ahead and just tweak the velocities from there. Looks like we did the same thing here. And all the rest of that's good. Oop, double hit here. Almost didn't catch you. Some wildness happening here. So when, and when I run into these things where I'm not 100% sure, um, we'll just do it by hand. See? So this is a... I missed a spot. So this is really easy. We'll just bring it down. 16 dB. Highlight because of our fade settings. Looks like I missed it up here too. Bring it down 16. Here's our fade settings. Reconsolidate, and now I know these aren't supposed to be here. And neither is this one. Just that easy. You just go through, clean it up, you're done. Um, I'll go ahead and revert back to this one. This one's already finished. And let's have, I've written in, smoothed out all the, all the MIDI velocities. And this is just so I can go ahead and take it one step further. If I want to use this to trigger gates, I can do that. If I want to uh, trigger samples, in this case, I can do that. So. just like that guys your toms are clean thanks for joining me guys jordan westfall another day in the studio peace